Morning guys, another day in Phnom Penh. This morning we're heading towards Wat Phnom. It's about an 11 minute walk from my hotel, so not that far. Um, I'll see whether I can do a hyperlapse. Okay, I have to concentrate, so I'll come back soon. Let me listen to your heart Let me listen to your soul Let me hear that song Your heart has composed All the battles you've been through All those skies distant blue All those secrets you hide With that rose inside of you With all the stars out in the night skies, I wonder what the future will be like. Welcome to Wat Phnom. Built in 1372, the temple of Wat Phnom stands on the only hill in Phnom Penh, which lent the Cambodian capital its name. According to legend, the temple was originally built to house the four statues of the Buddha, found in a tree floating in the nearby river. The grand main entrance runs up the eastern stairway, its path guarded by lions and naga, the mythical snakes of Hinduism and Buddhism. In 1372, or so the story goes, a wealthy widower named Don Pen came across a fallen koki tree floating in the river near her house. Inside the tree she found four bronze statues of the Buddha. Amazed by this discovery, Pen and her neighbours built a temporary shrine on the piece of raised ground near her house. The locals called the small hill Phnom Pen or Pen's Hill in her honour. Today many people come here to pray for good luck and success in school exams or business affairs. When a wish is granted, the faithful return to deliver on the offering promise, such as a garland of jasmine flowers or a bunch of bananas, of which the spirits are said to be especially fond. Today I saw a lot of roasted pigs. The main temple has been rebuilt many times, lastly in 1926. Its importance has risen and fallen over the years. Today the temple is an amalgam of styles and structures from across its more than 600 year history, including gardens built by the French in the late 19th century, and shrines that represent Taoist, Confucianism and Hindu beliefs. The central altar complex has a large bronze seated Buddha surrounded by other statues, flowers, candles and other items of devotion and worship. The walls are covered with murals, especially of Jataka stories of, of the Buddha's early reincarnations before his enlightenment. Ten pairs of great hornbills have been spotted living at Wat Phnom. Having a hornbill fly over a household is a sign of good fortune to come. If that is the belief, then people of Phnom Penh can expect the spirit to shower good fortune over them. These great hornbills are a spectacular sight every day, and they look very tame.
Here we can see some Cambodian men playing say. Say is like foot favorington. It is a popular game amongst Cambodians.